up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we're going to try to do this in one stop. We're shot, but we're going to destroy the crap out of this thing's value, which is the Lantern Alien Queen. You know what sucks, Steve? People are going to hate us on this, but we just got to be honest. I'm telling you. Well, I can't be honest. I don't have this thing out. I know, looking at it, <laughs> I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> really, like, really impressed. Like, for... Um, Buying these lantern figures, like a lot of them are like they're kind of cool, yeah. But You're and for the price for point, like yeah, it's like they're they're kind of neat to display because they can, they remind me of like old action figures, and then, um, like they're inexpensive and they're fun for kids. Well, this thing, one we got an adult franchise, but it's still meant for like again we're back to the Kenners. Like this yeah. is, this reminds me a lot of a Kenner. And looking at the way it sits inside this package. This should have been the Kenner Queen that we got so, Bad. so long ago. Yeah. yeah they probably is. would have had a little bit better paint job, but, like, this is, like, I wanted a big freaking queen. We never got one. It's sad, because it's true. Yeah, just looking at the way it looks inside of this package, I feel like if you, um, if you, uh, only buy one of these for your collection, especially if you collect the Kenner line... This is probably the one you want to get because it looks to me, it kind of fits the mold. And you know what the crap is? Like it looks like a Kenner. All they have to do is literally just take the Lan, uh, what's the company's name, Steve? Lanard. Lanard, off and just put Kenner on there. It will sell ten times more. <laughs> right. Uh, oh man, who has the Kenner? Like somebody actually owns the rights. I forget them. Uh, but you get a little description on the back. It kind of tells you what the figure does. Um, so we've actually already done a destroying the value on the semi-large sets, the Xenomorph attack packs. We're still waiting to find the smaller ones and then we'll just do a review of all of them. Yeah, it'll be just a lot easier that way. But anyways, we're going to get into this. I'm assuming there's some stuff screwed in, which is probably right here. Oh, thank you God. They're just twist ties or twisty things. Are you sure you're doing that right, Steve? I don't know. It feels like it's loosening. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's weird. It's a screw. Hey, I, I kind of appreciate it. Yeah. It's weird. Oh, no, this one's taped. Why is it taped? Hey, Steve, don't forget to save your egg up there. Eee. Steve, you're a monster. People wanted the eh. eggs. That's <laughs> <laughs> why so I think you're cardboard hey, eggs. Now you got us two dish eggs. That's what I do. I'm here to be loathed. Yeah, here we go. All right. So, feet are loose. I got some knife. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Hey, Steve, be careful. You don't want to damage the paint job, okay? Sure. Oh, oh, oh there goes the damage the paint job. Yes. <laughs> and we just scuffed something. You destroyed a collectible. Eh, it's only 20 bucks. We can get more. Exactly. That's the whole point of this video. But I need to find them. I almost, if I find another one, I kind of want to get one to repaint to make it look like the Kenner. Hey, like, Steve. like make it blacks and silvers. I know, where there's like four more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're doing this. Oh, I didn't even notice the tails on top is different color. Now it definitely looks like a Kenner. Right? He, what is this yeah. nonsense? All right, we're free. Take the box and shove it in a trash can. Yeah, that's pretty much where it's going. Uh, broke my knife. There we go. All right, blaze retracted. Got our queen. Oh boy. <laughs> Out of her cardboard she prison. Looks a little heavy head. Front heavy. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, gotta insert the tail. Oh. 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 Poor, oh my god! No wonder she's pissed all the time. <sighs> she needs to work that a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Which way does it go? Like I mean, that? that way? Alright, so... A little adjustment, let's right, see yes. what we can do. Oh, it's... Oh. What the... <laughs> what is it's this? It's ball joints there. Alright, I'm impressed. Alright, so... Except her hands are kind of creeping me out, man. They look like they're broken. If, okay, I don't... Yeah, I can rotate that, maybe. There we go. She's standing. Oh, she's got... Oh my gosh. She's got this ratchet joints. What is this? Sorcery? Oh, there's nothing at the hands though. Okay, I'm a little sad. Never mind. Oh, but you get this to move though? That's fancy. 
You know, that's still a decent range of motion. It looks pretty nice. Isn't there supposed to be like a gimmick? It's supposed to shoot. How do you shoot? Show me the box. I kind of went, uh, ow. <laughs> I texted you with the box. Just launch that thing into my side. Is there something with the... Internal oh. jaw snap attack. Oh, there you go. You got to move the head back. And it's like, whoosh, Oh, that's kind of cool. What? <laughs> such a crap, dude. This is such a crap. Where were you in 1994? <laughs> Where were you when I paid $110 for the NECA queen? <laughs> what the heck? I ain't gonna lie. Um, I c oh, man. I'm, I actually really like this. I don't know why. Like, it's just like... It's so basic looking, right? Like, it's just purple. You get some metallic for the teeth. That's it. Like, they didn't even paint the claws, the nails, nothing. Steve, I think you have a project ahead of you. But, like, it looks like, it looks so, like, 90s still, though. Like, if I got this thing, God, well, oh, I would have been eight. Yeah. Eight-year-old Steve would have had this. Oh, I would. God. I would probably still own this thing. It'd be banged the hell because of how much abuse this thing would have got. I also probably would have made an egg sack when I was a kid because I used to, for my smaller one, I used, um, oh, those like balloons, but they kind of have like that bulbous yeah, I look to it. About. I used to use those to make the cocoons. And then we were like the, the Colonial Marines would have to pop them. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cocoon, but like, you know, like the, the egg sack. Oh my God. So there's so many positive things about this it's freaking me out man yeah it's kind of like sculpt wise pretty decent like there it looks like the like queen details is there you can tell what it is hey you can even like see the separation from the top of the the chrome here where the head comes i out. really like this gimmick i wish it kind of shot out a little bit more a little bigger yeah but it's not like an air sac thing so like it's not gonna like randomly just not work for you like, as long as whatever spring in there stays intact. No, it's like, you got to be careful. Closing the mouth and then... Ooh. Yeah, articulate Because I can see uh, that's how you're going to break it. As long as you keep the mouth open and when you play with it, you'll be good. Yeah, I like the legs can move forward and back. Do the spines on the back move or are they stationary? They're stationary. Oh, but they're soft. Oh my God, I'm okay with that. For once, they won't fall off. Yeah, you, like, if you got kids that are really into aliens, like, they can't really hurt themselves on it. And that's kind of, like, my only thing is, like, this is meant for kids, but... I need this in my collection. Like, I got a 14-year-old brother that won't even watch aliens. Because it's scary. He's a Steve. <laughs> he is a Steve. And it's like, can't have Larry, uh, Matthew watch it because, uh, same thing. Like, he has bad dreams. And I'm like... These kids are like 9 and 14, and I was like, I was 6 watching Aliens, and I was, it was the bestest time ever. ever. Man. And I feel like, Leonard, while I love what they're doing, and it's cool that like these toys are sort of geared towards kids, but I feel like, for me, as an adult collector, these remind me of my childhood, and that's why I want to buy them. Yeah. So it's like, it's kind of like collector-esque in disguise. Like, you can buy it for your kid and not feel bad, but then again, I want to buy it because they look kind of cool standing next to my Kenners. I want it, like, in my collection. Anyways, I'm going to sit her down. We'll grab the Kenner Queen here off the shelf because it's the only one I have currently. Or this is the playset, but, like, she's about the same size. But, like, there's the, there's the old Kenner. And how much is the old canner, Steve? Uh, if you want to get this, it's like, I got one in the package, and I think I paid 30 bucks for the packaged one. So, we'll say open one is the same price as this. Yeah, you probably look about 20 bucks. Now, granted, again, like, paint jobs, better, but... Depends on your preference, I guess. Actually, it's about, to be fair, it's about the same, because you it's really, like, the teeth are painted on this. Yeah. That's really all you got on this, too. Yeah, well, it's just, like, the, the color scheme looks more like the queen. Yeah. Because it's got that like gra uh, graphite look to it but the canner's got a bigger mouth you'll get that pops out pretty far steve S still works too yeah bam <laughs> that's why i was kind of mentioning the air sack on the back of this thing and it also has tail attack action could do this for literal days 
I don't know. I, I feel like... Uh, yeah. Like, between the two, I, as a kid, guess which one I want. <laughs> the one that's hugging the smaller one. Yeah, like, I would have much preferred this lander one. God, it's like... Is this already, like, candidate a figure of the year? Uh, for $20? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is the best twenty bucks on a on a collectible I've spent in a long time. God, that's so sad. <laughs> right, like buying that because of stuff like that because only like ten bucks more. Yeah. But it's just like again, this reminds me more of the Kenners than the actual Kenner like NECA figures. Reminds you of the good old Steve. Yeah, yeah definitely good old Steve. Yeah, Steve missed that Steve. That Steve had way more hair. <laughs> More hair on top and less on his face. Less everywhere. <laughs> I was about to say things, but we're just going to get a little too personal, so we're just going to conclude this video. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. If you, um, get, if you find this, fucking buy it. Now. Yeah, especially like, as an adult collector, like if you like those old Kenner figures, this is a must. I feel like this is a must out of all the ones. Because like the Xeno tax set, like the carrier's cool. Yeah. And I like the smaller aliens, I think are really neat. Uh, but this one's just like it goes way better with your other Kenners than those ones ever did. Or ever will. Um so yeah, even before the review, just just buy it if you see it. If you really like aliens and xenomorphs, you can't really go wrong. I feel like we haven't seen the small creature pack yet, but I feel like this is definitely out of all of them, this is the masterpiece right here. Yeah, because like you get like some like guys that almost look like colonial marines. So, like, I kind of want them. But for the most part, you're just buying them because you want extra egg, like extra aliens yeah. and stuff. But, like I said, if you already have, like, Kenner alien figures, like, this one, this one still works. Like, aesthetically, it's still fine. But let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Lantern Queen if you guys would buy one for yourself. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, and come on, region today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye.